Hey everybody, so today in this video here on the Top Water King YouTube channel, we're going to be talking about why you should never, ever use a one aught EWG or even a one aught worm hook in general, especially with a bait caster. So today, I was out here and I thought, you know what, I want to do a little bit of fishing before I have to go to work later. So I picked up my, probably one of my favorite rods, it's a really good rod, I like it a lot, I've caught a lot of fish with it. Great for light Texas rigs and, and small swim baits and stuff like that. It's a great bait caster. It's got 12 pound Berkeley trilene on it. Uh, I rigged it up with a 1 16th, or excuse me, a 3 16th ounce lead black painted bullet weight pegged with a 1 knot worm hook. Now I figured that'd be fine because I'm throwing a little brush buster, or excuse me, a brush grub. Uh, just a smaller version of the brush buster, just single tail. It's a brand new bait. Uh, I've only caught two fish on it so far. Plus, I mean, it's only been out since like two days ago. So I haven't got a whole lot of fishing with it, but I've got a lot of fish to bite it and everything. So I thought, you know what? I'll go with a smaller hook, you know, to, uh, you know, probably get a little bit better hookup ratio. Maybe, you know, let the, uh, the smaller, finer wire uh, will keep the fish pinned. That's what everybody says, right? Well, guess what? I hooked about a four pounder and uh, look at that. I have this fish hooked for about 10 seconds. I hooked it about maybe 10 feet out from the bank. It came up to the surface and my bait came flying right back at me. Now I was mad there for a good little bit and I walked off and kind of had a second to cool down because probably one of the bigger fish I've hooked this year. Went back, looked at my hook and that's what it looks like. Look how bent it is. Now obviously, it's not supposed to look like that. Do I have, I have an extra in here. I have one right here I can show you. These are Eagle Claw brand hooks. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Let me hold it by the eye so you guys can really get a, a good feel for what it's supposed to look like here. That's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what it looks like now. Okay, that's it. That's the difference between a brand new and 10 seconds after hooking a four pound bass. Okay, don't use one aught EWG hooks, just don't. I used to like live by two aught EWG hooks, and I still do. I love throwing two aught EWG, uh, but don't use a one aught, they're just too light, especially with a bait caster. Now, if you're a type of guy that only uses spinning rods with like 10 pound line or eight pound line, you can go ahead with it because you don't have to. Uh, worry about overpowering the hook with a bait caster. But if you're using a bait caster, throw away all your one-aught hooks because they're just they're going to turn into just bent up metal at at, at that point because they're junk. Uh, unless I've never used a Gamagatsu one-aught hook, but Gamagatsu is is definitely my favorite brand of hooks. I use EWGs uh, all the time in there. You know the two aughts, four aughts, three aughts. I use all of them. I've never used the one aughts, so I'm probably never going to use a one aught hook again just off of this bad experience here. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick to my two aught or my three aught Gamagatsus and uh, not worry about the uh, one aughts because they're just too light. I thought, you know what, maybe it'll work out a little bit better for me. Smaller hook, lighter presentation, more of a, a you know, more action as it falls. Nope. I'm, I'm going to cut this off, throw it away, and put on a 2 otter and, or a 3 aught. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching once again. Uh, this is in no way to target any specific brand. It is mainly to target that specific type of hook. Don't use a one aught EWG with, a, with even a medium rod like this. This is a medium, medium heavy. It's on the lighter side of medium heavy. Don't. Unless you're using spinning rods, then go right on ahead. But if you're using bait casters, don't even worry about it. Bye.